Hello friends, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my channel. Before starting my first video, I want you guys to please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button so that you guys get notified for all my upcoming new videos. Let's move on to today's topic. This is combustion. As we all know, the combustion is a very common phenomena we observe on daily basis. But we don't think that what actually the combustion is. Combustion is a class of chemical reaction commonly referred as burning. You can look in the equation. This is the fuel and oxygen react together and produce heat or carbon dioxide and some little amount of water. Now, the question comes in mind what is fuel and how it is used in the combustion process. Fuel is substance that provide useful energy. Here are some examples of fuel. Natural gas, wood, diesel, oil and petrol. These materials are also called the combustible material and those which do not burn which is also which is called the non-combustible material. Example, needle, cement, stone. If we look to the other side of equation, there is energy or we can say burning. Basically, it depends on amount of fuel. Greater the amount of fuel, in result, greater energy is produced. Now moving towards the classification of combustion, which is complete and incomplete combustion. Both are depends on air fuel ratio. As we looked in equation, this is oxygen, we can say air. Lots of examples we have. Huge amount of soot produced in vehicles and factories. This is an example of incomplete combustion. Incomplete combustion refers in cooking, stuff, and burning a candle. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Hopefully, you grabbed the knowledge from today's video. If you like this video, give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any question regarding this topic, you can ask feel free to in the comment section.